According to a recent survey in the Journal of Pediatrics, 91% of parents believe that a fever can cause harmful effects, and 89% of them use fever reducers such as acetaminophen and ibuprofen before their child's temperature reaches 102 degrees Fahrenheit. But actually, a baby's fever is how the body reacts to harmful factors from the outside. In some cases, especially when the child is under one year old, it not only does no harm for the baby, but it also benefits them a lot. So what are those benefits? Let's figure it out on today's video. So what is a fever? And how to know if your baby has it? First of all, fever is the condition when your baby's temperature reaches more than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is higher than the normal body temperature. Fever as we just mentioned, is simply the way that your baby's body reacts to invading virus or bacteria. The most common signs of a baby fever are fuzziness, excessive sleepiness, and lack of appetite. You should take your baby's body temperature to be sure. Please remember that the experts recommend using a rectal thermometer for a baby's first three years. When the temperature reaches higher than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, that means your baby is having a fever. As mentioned in the first part, most parents misunderstand the fever condition in their babies. They don't know that a fever is extremely normal. Firstly, remember that fever is not an illness. It is just a symptom of some basic illnesses happening to the baby, such as a simple cold, flu, strep throat, or ear infection. A fever is also the reaction of your baby's body to some weakened viruses and baby vaccines. That's the reason why your baby could have a fever for one or two days after receiving a vaccine. Secondly, rushing for a fever reducer is not a wise choice. It can even be harmful to your baby's health because the body temperature is not high enough to fight off invading microbes. Therefore, Fever needs to be treated only when it causes discomfort for the baby, like vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, etc., which can happen when a baby's temperature reaches 102 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. If your kid has any of these signs, a fever reducer with acetaminophen or ibuprofen would be a good choice. Finally, using a thermometer to track your baby's temperature and condition is very important. But a more important thing is how your child feels. You should observe closely to catch any small changes in your baby's physical and mental condition to take timely action. When you think about it, a fever is not as scary as you think, and it can actually bring many benefits to your child's health and immune system. First of all, the environmental survival conditions of invading microbes will be destroyed by a fever. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, a fever indicates that your baby is fighting off an infection. The illness-causing microbes work best at a normal body temperature. Raising the body's temperature will prevent the microbes from developing and reproducing. Secondly, a fever kicks your baby's immune system into high gear and speeds up the production of white blood cells whose main function is to destroy invading virus and bacteria. As the number of white blood cells increases, the war against invading microbes will be much faster and more efficient. Last but not least, fever can reduce the risk of developing allergy-related illnesses in children. According to a study published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology in 2004, a baby who runs a fever during the first year would be less likely to develop allergies later in childhood. Of course, there are some serious signs of a fever that you should pay special attention to when your baby has a fever. If your baby has a fever when they are younger than 3 months old, you should be really careful. In this period, your baby's immune system is not completely developed. The high temperature of the body can lead to serious consequences related to the infection and the respiratory system. Normally, the reaction of the immune system with the invading factors should last for maximum two days. 
a fever of more than five days duration is a very serious situation. And lastly, when your kid's temperature reaches more than 103 degrees Fahrenheit, accompanied by any symptoms like seizures, unusual skin rashes, severe headaches, aversion to light, stiff or painful neck, you should seek immediate medical attention. If not, then just relax and keep your baby company. After all, a fever is just a common situation that can happen to any baby. It's not scary and you don't need to worry when your baby is having a fever. You need to be patient to track all the signs for a timely solution. Your baby is fighting and you can be the best companion for your baby in this fight.